Thanks, Mark. I think given the opportunity, a lot of people wouldn't want to have to see a lawyer. However, this Saturday, your opinion might change when the young lawyers of the uh, Jacksonville Bar Association are part of the 2016 charity chili cook-off. Who would go to that uh, rants? Take a look. Order in the court. I've always wanted to say that. I had a chance to meet lawyers who hear that on the regular, but this time the conversation about judgment was focused on chili. We're with the uh, Young Lawyers section of the Jacksonville Bar Association, and we're uh, hosting a chili cook-off on Saturday, February 20th, uh, from 11 to 2 p.m. at Riverside Arts Market. To quote my man Morris Day from the 80s band The Time, Chili sauce. I digress. The competition is being held for a good cause. This year's event is going to go to support community connections of Jacksonville. The event is free to the public, but we are asking for donations, whether monetary or in kind. Community Connections of Jacksonville is a local charitable organization that does after school programming and homes for the homeless. And so they need lots of donations such as baby wipes, clothing, canned goods. Someone in my office even donated some laundry detergent. Well, that's generous. Alexandria further explains how the cook-off came to exist. The event was actually started by a previous member of the Young Lawyer section of the Jacksonville Bar Association, now Judge Eric Robertson. He started it about seven years ago. It used to be a much smaller event. Last year was the first year we expanded. Actually, with the help of Alessandra, we were able to move it here to the Riverside Arts Market. The crowd went from being all lawyers, uh, about 100 to 200 people, uh, last year we had all kinds of members of the community and we had about three to four hundred attendees. The timing for the event was planned for the expanded number of teens and to gain maximum exposure. This year we've got about 25 professional and law firms that are competing right here at the Riverside Arts Market. The competition itself is during Riverside Arts Market so we have a huge showing and we actually have a good amount of state and federal judges that come and actually uh, judge the chili. Lawyers tend to get some side eye. But this group is happy to give back and connect with the community. Well, it feels great to uh, give back to the community through an event where we can engage with people, you know, on a Saturday afternoon where everybody's really relaxed and we're all benefiting a great cause like Community Connections. If you attend, you'll have a wide range of competition groups to sample from. The best overall, the spiciest, meatiest, best cornbread, best fixins, which was something we just added last year, crowd favorite, which is the only category voted on by the actual members of the crowd. Everything else is voted on by local members of the judiciary. Most unique. The gauntlet has been thrown down as the trash talk to attorneys outside the area has already begun. That's a possibility. I mean, we'd love to expand this event to as big as we can get it. We'd love to actually, I guess, put the uh, lawyers who cook chili in Jacksonville up against those in Orlando and Tampa. I'm pretty confident that the lawyers in Jacksonville will have the best chili. Above all? This one, though, is really fun because, again, you can bring your family, you can bring your dog, um, you can come have a drink and have some chili. And it's, it's not only a good opportunity for the law firms and other professional firms um, in Jacksonville to mingle and, and, and with judges in the community, but also for the community to see what the lawyers um, are doing for them. Court is adjourned. I'm Rance Adams reporting for River City Live. My stomach is growling. You hungry? That looked <laughs> right at lunchtime, too. So this is going to be a really amazing event. They're doing it in conjunction with Riverwalk. So there's going to be a ton of people. You're at about 25 uh, law firms are competing. It started 10 with 10, like, however many years ago. So it's going to a good cause with the uh, community connections. Uh, there's going to be face painting, live music. Free adult beverages. For free. Free. And, yeah. and the chili's free. And there's a part of it, it mentioned in the story, but we, as you know, just hanging out, we get to judge part of the competition. Oh, we get to nice. be judge and jury. Nice. Very nice. Court that's is great. in session. If you guys want to learn more, go to their Facebook page, 2016 Charity Chili Cook Off. All right. We'll be back.